In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access database on Bluehost. So the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button which will actually take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Bluehost website. Of course, if you want to log in into your account and if you already have it, simply click as login button at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan and it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year. You can simply just go and buy your own domain. By clicking at this domains option right here, and of course, it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from. And from there, you can start and create your account with that way also. So for me, I'm just going to click at login, which will log in into my account directly because I already logged in into my account in this PC. And that is going to be my screen once I logged in into my account. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to access the data host. And of course, if you want to do that, we'll simply have to log into the control panel or to the C panel. And if you want to do that, we can simply click at this advanced button on this left panel. And as you can see, once you click on it, a new or tab will open to you, which is the C panel or control panel. As you can see, now you're logged into the C panel. And now, if you want to have access to the database, simply go here to this find function quickly by typing here and type simply database. And as you can see, you will find all the options for database, including PHP, my admin, and etc. So that will be it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and goodbye.